Welcome to Anadon family. Take good care of them, Gilbert. I will, Uncle Conductor. <sighs> Nothing like the smell of the hot savannah of the Jurassic. What? You've been here before, Gilbert? Indeed I have. And that's why I'll be your tour guide, my good lady. <laughs> um, should we go find Kenny? Oh, right. Absolutely. To Kenny's nest. To Kenny's nest. So here's the savanna. That rhymes with banana. <laughs> Did you know there's a local custom here that whenever you visit someone, you bring them a little gift? All the dinosaurs around here do it. Oh, my, really? Then we should bring Kenny Kentrosaurus a gift, too. Oh, I guess you're right, Mrs. P. <sighs> now, what would make a nice gift for a Kentrosaurus? Maybe some of those high-growing leaves on those trees will be good. Kentrosaurus keep their heads pretty close to the ground. So Kenny probably never gets to eat any of the leaves that grow really high up. Good thinking, boys. Let's get some of those leaves for Kenny. Up we go, buddy. Come on, Gilbert. You too. Like my bouquet. I think it's especially pretty. <laughs> um. Is that some kind of huge carnivore? Don't worry, Shiny. I know what's going on. And it's actually going to be fun. Kenny Kentrosaurus, welcome. Hi, Kenny. Let me guess, you are visitors from far away. We're on a world tour on the dinosaur train. The dinosaur train with my good pal, Mr. The Conductor. Hey, that's what I call him. Well, that is his name, right? So, what are your names? I'm Tiny Pteranodon, and this is Buddy, Shiny, Don, Gilbert, and my mom and dad. Welcome. I'm happy to have you as my visitors. We're happy to be here, Kenny. We brought you some leaves as a gift. Ah, my favorite. Aren't those leaves from way up in the treetops? Right? Yes, we flew up and got them down for you, Kenny. Excellent. Shiny, I accept your wonderful gift. Look, Don, just like the picture the conductor showed us, Kenny's plates go halfway down his back. Yep, and then his big spikes go the rest of the way down, all the way onto his tail. I have a hypothesis. Even though Kenny has plates on part of his back, he still uses them to keep his body cool. Ooh, a hypothesis. Very impressive, buddy. You and Don are both observant fellows. Plates and spikes. That's what Kentrosaurus have. Um, Kenny the Kentrosaurus, may I please touch one of your spikes? You may, Don the Pteranodon, but touch it carefully. They are sharp. Whoa, these spikes are amazing. Yes, I'm quite proud of my spikes. You should be. They're great. A Kentrosaurus has spiky spikes. There's something everybody likes. Who could ask for anything more? He's one big spiky stegosaur. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Dinosaur once train. upon a time there was a mom. Her name was Mrs. Pteranodon. Sitting on her nest, she heard a scratching and said, Oh boy, my eggs are hatching. One by one. 